Good morning. So today we're going to read about Winnie the Pooh and his new friend Tigger. Winnie the Pooh. Tigger comes to the forest and has breakfast. Winnie the Pooh woke up early in the middle of the night and listened. Then he got out of bed and lit his candle and walked across the room to see if anybody was trying to get in his honey cupboard, and they weren't. So he went back again, blew out his candle, and got back in bed. Then he heard the noise again. Is that you, Piglet? But it wasn't. Come in, Christopher Robin. But Christopher Robin didn't. Tell me about it tomorrow, Eeyore. But the noise kept going. And whatever it was, and Pooh found that he wasn't asleep after all. What can it be, he thought. There are lots of noises in the forest, but this is a different one. It isn't a growl, it isn't a purr, and it isn't a bark, and it isn't the noise you make after beginning a piece of poetry. But it's the kind of made by a strange animal, and he's making it right outside my door. Shall I go and ask him not to do it? He got out of bed and opened his front door. Hello, said Pooh, in case there was anything outside. Hello, said whatever it was. Oh, hello, hello, oh, there you are, hello. Hello, said the strange animal, wondering how long this was going to go on. Pooh was just going to say hello again when he thought he wouldn't. So he said, who is it? Me. Oh, well, come here. So whatever it was came here, and in the light of the candle, Pooh, he and Pooh looked at each other. I'm Pooh. I'm Tigger. Oh, said Pooh, for he'd never seen an animal like this before. Does Christopher Robin know about you? Of course he does, said Tigger. Well, it's the middle of the night, which is a good time for going to sleep, and tomorrow morning we'll have some honey for breakfast. Do Tiggers like honey? They like everything, said Tigger. Then if they like going to sleep on the floor, I'll go back to bed and we'll do things in the morning. Good night. And he got back in bed and went back to sleep. When he woke up in the morning, the first thing he saw was Tigger sitting in front of the glass and looking at himself. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Tigger. I found somebody just like me. I thought I was the only one of them. He Tigger looking in the mirror. He thinks that's another Tigger. Pooh got out of bed and began to explain what a, a mirror was. But just as he was getting to the interesting part, Tigger said, Excuse me a moment, but there's something climbing up your table. And with one loud woof, he jumped to the end of the table, pulled it to the ground, and wrapped himself up in it three times, rolled to the other end of the room, and made a terrible mess. Have I won? That's my tablecloth, said Pooh, as he began to unwind Tigger. I wondered what it was, said Tigger. It goes on the table, and you put things on it. Then why did it try to bite me when I wasn't looking? I don't think it did, said Pooh. It tried, but I was too quick for it. Tiggers, so they got some honey. Tigger took a large mouthful. He looked up at the ceiling, made it a noise with his tongue. And then he said, Tiggers don't like honey. It's too sticky. I thought I liked everything, everything except honey. Pooh was rather happy about this, and as soon as he had finished his own breakfast, he would take Tigger around to Piglet's house, and Tigger could try some of Piglet's corn, haycorns. Thank you, Pooh, because haycorns is what Tigger's like best. So after breakfast, they went to see Piglet, and Pooh explained as they went that Piglet was a very small animal who didn't like bouncing, and asked Tigger to not be so bouncy just at first. And Pigger, who had been hiding behind trees and jumping up on Pooh's shadow when it wasn't looking, said that Tiggers were only bouncy before breakfast, and that as soon as they had a few haycorns, they, they became quiet and refined. So, they knocked on the door at Piglet's house. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Piglet. This is Tigger. Oh, it is? I thought Tiggers were smaller than that. Not the big ones, said Tigger. They like haycorns, said Pooh. So that's what we've come for, because poor Tigger hasn't had any breakfast yet. Piglet pushed the bowl of haycorns toward Tigger and said, help yourself. And then he got up to close, close to Pooh and whispered, Oh, you're Tigger. Wow, wow. But Tigger said nothing because his mouth was full of acorns. After a long munching noise, he said, What? Tiggers don't like acorns. But you said they liked everything except honey. Everything except honey and acorns, explained Tigger. When he heard this, Pooh said, Oh, I see. Piglet was rather glad to see that Tigger didn't like acorns. What about thistles? Thistles is what Tiggers like best. Then let's go see Eeyore, said Piglet. 
So the three of them went, and after they had walked and walked and walked, they came to the part of the forest that, where Eeyore lived. Hello, Eeyore. This is Tigger. What is this? And Pooh and Piglet together pointed to Tigger, smiling his happiest smile. Eeyore walked all around Tigger one way and then another and walked around him. What did you say it was? Tigger. Ah, said Eeyore. He's just come. Ah, said Eeyore. He thought for a long time and then said, when is he going? Pooh explained that Eeyore, to Eeyore that Tigger was a great friend of Christopher Robin's who had come to stay in the forest. And Piglet explained to Tigger that he mustn't mind what Eeyore said because Eeyore was always gloomy. And Eeyore explained to Piglet that he was actually very happy this morning. And Tigger explained to anybody who was listening that he hadn't had breakfast yet. I knew there was something, said Pooh. Tiggers always eat thistles, so that is why we came to see you, Eeyore. Don't mention it, Pooh. Oh, Eeyore, I didn't mean that I didn't want to see you. Quite, quite. But your new stripy friend, naturally, he wants his breakfast. What did you say his name was? Tigger. And come this way, Tigger. Eeyore led the way to the most thistly looking patch of thistles there ever was. A little patch I was keeping for my birthday. But after all, what are birthdays? Here today, down tomorrow. Help yourself, Tigger. Tigger thanked him and looked at Pooh. Those really thistles? Yes, said Pooh. Well, Tigger's on us? That's right, said Pooh. I see, said Tigger. So he took a large mouthful and he gave a crunch. Ow! He sat down and put his paw in his mouth. What's the matter? Hot! Your friend, said Eeyore, appears to have bitten on a bee. Uh-oh. Pooh's friend opened his shaking head and let the prickles out and explained that Tigger didn't like thistles. But, he... but you said that Tigger's like everything. Everything except acorns and honey and thistles, said Tigger, who was running around in circles with his tongue hanging out. Who looked at him sadly. What are we going to do? Piglet knew the answer to that, and he said at once that they must go and see Christopher Robin. You'll find him with Kanga, said Eeyore. He came close to Pooh and said in a loud whisper, Could you ask your friend to do his exercise somewhere else? I shall be having lunch soon, and I don't want him to be bounced on just before I start exercise. Pooh nodded and called to Tigger. Come along, we shall go see Kanga. She's sure to have lots of breakfast for you. Tigger finished his last circle and came up to Pooh and Piglet. Hot! Come on! So Pooh and Piglet walked out after him. And as they walked, Piglet didn't say anything to me because he couldn't think of anything to say. And Pooh said nothing because he was thinking of a poem. He's quite big enough now, said Piglet. He really isn't very big. Well, he seems so. And that's the whole poem. Do you like it? All except the Shillers. I don't think we ought to, they ought to be there. They wanted to come in after the pounds. So I let them. Is it, it is the best way to write poetry. Oh, I didn't know, said Piglet. Tigger had been bouncing in front of them all this time, turning around every now and then to ask, Is this the way? Now at last they came inside of Kanga's house, and there was Christopher Robin. Tigger ran up to him. Oh, there you are, Tigger, said Christopher Robin. I knew you'd be somewhere. I've been finding things in the forest. I found a Pooh, a Piglet, and an Eeyore. Can't find any breakfast. Pooh and Piglet came up and hugged Christopher Robin and explained everything that had happened. Don't you know what Tigger's like? Asked Pooh. I expect if I thought very hard, I should, said Christopher Robin. I thought Tigger knew. I do. Everything there is in the world except honey and acorns and what were those things called? Thistles. Yes, those. Oh, well, Kanga can give you some breakfast. So they went into Kanga's house, and when Roo said, Hello, Pooh. Hello, Piglet. Hello, Tigger. Told Kanga what they wanted, and Kanga said very kindly, Well, look in my cupboard because she knew at once, however big Tigger seemed to be, what he wanted was as much kindness as Rue. Shall I look too, said Pooh, who was beginning to feel a little eleven o'clock-ish, and he found a small tin of condensed milk, and something seemed to tell him that Tiggers didn't like this, so he took it into a corner by himself, and went to see that nobody interrupted. They're going to Kanga's house. Kanga. Kanga is the mommy kangaroo, and Roo is the baby kangaroo. We'll read a story about them another day. All right, guys, I hope you liked that story. I will see you again tomorrow. Love you. Bye.